secrets, Spence, evil genius, with your lab secrets tip of the day. Hey guys, I'm excited today to give you an update to our very popular definitive guide to Buddy Press and BB Press configuration. Now, many of you know, but if not, I'm going to tell you, the world's coming together with Buddy Press and BB Press. They've started to merge many of their features. So, BB Press is now 2.2.2 uh, version as of December 4th, 2012. And Buddy Press is 1.6.1. And what's cool is now they have sort of merged on the concept of using one BB Press forum engine, if you will, and you no longer have to deal with the conflicts between the difference of why should I use the Groove forums on Buddy Press versus the site wide forums on BB Press. I'm going to cover that in this video. I'm also going to show you some of the tools that you can use to import older forums or to sort of bring all the members up to sync with the new roles and capabilities which are part of VBPress. And lastly what I want to do is elaborate for many people the difficulties they've been having with legacy themes and why they may not be showing their forums. So I'm going to give you a couple tricks. So let's dive right in. Now if you've not done so before drop on over to labzip.com and watch the original video because there is still some relevance to it. And you might also want to go ahead and check out some of the child themes that we have that are ready to use so you don't even have to waste any time setting things up. You can just go ahead. Now I'm going to start here with a blank WordPress install. And again, you can use any theme you want. BB Press 2.2.2 has a new theme wrapper that brings you a little closer to Nirvana when it comes to the ability to go ahead and custom uh, stylize your setup or use an existing theme. What we do, though, for all of our customers is we have a special child theme available, and we have those actually for many different popular themes, including some of the ones in the WordPress repository, like Responsive from Emil Uzalak. And we also have for Woo themes, elegant themes, and whatnot. I'm going to use responsive here simply because that's our core theme. We use that for most all of our tutorial videos, and so it'll be easier to follow along. So what I've done is I've uh, downloaded from the repository responsive parent. I've also uploaded our responsive LabZip, uh, LabZip child theme, which gives you BBPress, BuddyPress, and WooCommerce right out of the box. And that's available over here at LabZip.com in case you're interested. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to activate the child theme. Again, don't worry about it. You can use any theme you want that is otherwise BuddyPress and BBPress compatible. Now, with this particular theme, it gives me a couple notices that I might want to turn on WooCommerce. And for this tutorial, I'm going to shut that off. The next step, though, is we definitely want to go ahead and start with our BuddyPress plugin. So, like any plugin, I'm going to go to Plugins, Add New. Right from the repository, I can just type in BuddyPress search it out and install it. I'm doing this live. There's nothing preset up here so you're going to see every step of the way. Once we do that, this is where the first and most important um, step is installed. Whoop, let's go ahead and activate that. Good. First and most important step is to realize that when we run the installation wizard, pay attention. Are you paying attention? When we run the installation wizard, if we're going to use site-wide forums with BBPress, do not, I repeat, do not, do not, did I say do not? Do not enable discussion forums. Why? Because, although I think this might be better written, it's because we're going to use BBPress plugin to handle the group forums as well as the site-wide forums and actually be able to view both of them on the site-wide forums. I think this one line maybe needs to be rewritten, but basically this is where the number one point of pain is. People just go, oh, I'm going to leave that on. Turn it off if you're planning on using BB Press for your forums. Okay. Click Save and Next. Number two is almost every time you're going to go ahead and have it set up the pages that you need. That's fine. Permalinks we're going to come back to in a second, so just allow it to stay at numeric. No problem. Here's another point of contention. In this case, since we're using our own child theme and we know it's compatible, we're going to go ahead and say, don't change my current theme. Now, many people in the past have been using BuddyPress Template Pack. No problem with that, but I will suggest that that's being deprecated away, as I've read, and it's likely no longer relevant. If you know you need it and you want to use it, that's fine, but the chances are good that that's not something you're going to pick from this point forward. Once you click Save and Next, you can finish up the job and activate. Okay. Now we've got body press enable. What's the next thing we want to do? Well, I'd say let's jump in and go ahead and install the BB Press plugin. So plugins, add new, BB Press, 
install now. This is all 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 old hat to everybody. Activate it. Okay. We're coming up on another red flag, so pay attention. First thing we need to do is we need to set up a forum that will handle all the group forums. Okay? So I go under forums, new forum. This is going to create a forum in the BB Press Sitewide Forums area that's going to handle and hold and love and cherish all of your BuddyPress group forums. Make sense? So we're going to call this, yes, it's true, group forums. You can call it anything you want. It doesn't matter. Make sure it's a forum, that it's open, and for now, public. You can mess with these settings later, but let's keep this real. Publish it. It's getting very exciting now. We're only minutes away. Now, next step, we're going to go over and set up BB Press. How do we do that? Well, we're going to go to Settings. Oh, yes, of course, Forums. A couple things I want to show to you on this page. You can go through one by one and enjoy these various settings and figure out what they want, uh, want you to do or what they do for you, but they're pretty easy. The ones I want you to pay attention to, though. Anonymous posting is something that you, it's off by default, but you can turn on. If there's some strange reason you want people to drive by and shoot at your site and post stuff without having to log in, feel free to check it. I know there's instances of that, but it will require a lot of administration, so probably leave that off. Next, super important, BB Press 2.2.2 and up. Default user role. This is going to blow a lot of people's minds, but it's actually a wonderful thing. And now I know Justin Tadlock had just posted that his members plugin, which I'm going to show you in a second, is on board with this. In previous BB Press incarnations, the BB Press forum roles and capabilities were one with the WordPress. Now, that by itself sounds really good, except what about the situation where maybe you had custom roles created, like for membership or for certain administration tasks, etc., and yet the people doing those things with those roles really wanted to have this sort of lower level or standardized set of BB Press participation. For example, maybe you hired somebody to be an editor of your blog, but you didn't want them to be a key master of your forum. Well, you were kind of out of luck. You had to go through these gesticulations to create custom roles that allowed you to have both the capabilities of an editor, editor and a regular forum participant. Well, what JJJ has done over here with the new version of BB Press is to separate the BB Press roles and capabilities from the WordPress. So now we can select from one of five particular user roles on BB Press. Blocked, which is what you think it is, can't get in. Spectator means you can view but can't actually post. Participant means you can view and post. Moderator means you can view and post and edit and sticky and do stuff to other people. And Keymaster is the kind of big kahuna, kind of like administrator on the WordPress side. So the default role I'm going to set here is participant because I want people to be able to join and actually post and read. Okay? If you don't want them to post, make them spectator by default. Now, one last thing I like is this auto role. What happens here is that if you otherwise don't set anything to override it, when somebody goes ahead and actually logs in for the first time and uses BB Press, if they've not already been assigned a role, it will assign them this default role which is great. It's kind of like how you're uh, assigned a subscriber role when you first use WordPress. This means that everybody, in theory, will be able to use your forum without having to take any other steps. So I definitely put that on. And the only reason to override this would be if you have some other membership or other restriction, which we'll talk about in another tutorial. Scroll down. Here's a beautiful thing. No longer do you have to deal with the conflict between archive slugs. Uh, in the past, when you used BuddyPress, group forums, you'd have to change your name on either the group forum slug or on the site-wide forum slug because they would conflict. Now, it's still possible to make them conflict, but here we're going to have no problems just leaving it as the default forums. Next, single slugs is something that's optional, and I like it. It gives you a little bit more granular taxonomy to know that you're in the forums, let's say topic, etc. You could turn this on or off with no ill effect. Okay, last and probably most important. Two choices here. One, do you want to allow BuddyPress groups to have their own forums using BBPress? Oh, yeah. That's why we're here, baby. Okay, so yes, leave that on. If by some strange reason you only want to have site-wide forums, which is not that strange, actually, feel free to just turn that off. Uncheck it. 
Next, remember we just made that form called group forms? We want to turn that on as being the parent for all the group forums. Remember, we want them to hold and cradle and cherish all those little baby group forums in one spot, which will look really cool, as you'll see in a second. Click Save Changes. Okay. Next, secret, secret trick formula, catch-all. I don't know if it's a trick, but it works a lot of times. At this stage, go take a visit to Settings, Permalinks, and set that as what you want. I'm going to recommend post name because in the latest versions of WordPress you have no problems with optimization to allow these very nice human readable uh, permalinks. If you want something else feel free. Either way click the save changes because that's going to set it into the database and make sure we're copacetic. I hope you're excited because I am because basically we're there. Let's go check it out. Let's open up the site and see what we've got. Now, I have not set up my administration uh, or main menu because by default the responsive lab zip sets that for me and I'm going to just work with this because it's enough. But you notice we're missing something, right? So we need to go ahead and get that forms in there. Now here's the, another trick. Red flag, hello, coffee time. Two ways to get your site-wide forum index. If your theme has been updated and does not cause a conflict with the archives page trying to turn uh, the content into an excerpt. And I've posted about this before, but some themes by default don't know to look for BB Press. And what's happening is the default page says, hmm, let me set up all the content here listed as an excerpt, which is bad because the BB Press forum wants an index that's a whole you know, content page using the content. So if your site's theme is set up like this responsive lab zip is, you can go ahead and do the cool method using page. If not, you can use the fallback method, which I'll show you in a second. Let's do the cool method. All we need to do is create a new page, add new, and we're going to call it the same as the slug that was set up when we were just in settings forums. Remember, we said forums. Okay, and I could use whatever format I want, but I'm going to use the default template here. Now, watch how easy this is. When I go back, and I refresh. I think the page shows up here. It should. There we go. Let's see what happens. Ready? I need a drum roll. One, two, three. Brrr. Oh, yeah. That's some satisfaction, folks, because now this tells me we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we visit the groups. Got no groups set up, so we're going to create a new group. We're going to call this group number one. Group one. Just a group. That's all. We're going to create the group. We're going to say it's public. We want all group members to participate. We're going to go ahead and here it is. Red flag, red flag, warning. Yes, I want this group to have a forum. I think this should be changed to say, I want this group to have a wonderful, amazing BB Press 2.2 and up forum. But either way, check that, please. Next step, I don't need a new avatar, but this would be a cool place to put in a group avatar. Next step, and then we'll finish up. Okay, I'm pretty excited because now this is where it should work. Uh, another drum roll, we click on forum. And I'm crossing my fingers, oh yes, it's looking good. This is the BB Press 2.0 setup, not the default Buddy Press old one. So this is my first topic post in the group one forum. Oh yeah. Happiness. And this is a normal. I could be notified by email if I want that somebody replies. Ready? We submit it. And now you will see that this has come full circle because we got my post, my topic post, and now when I go to the forums page, oh yes, we do have, I hope, we should, and there it is. Remember, I told you we've got the group forums parent and now we've got the child. And as we add other groups and other group topics and entries, they're all going to be nested nicely by their group. And this doesn't restrict me from adding another regular site-wide forum post. So, or forum. Let's add that in. We'll say this is not a group forum. But it's still cool. 
Oh yeah, again. Now remember, I can actually make that a child of group one, but I'm not going to. Let's go take a look, see what it looks like. We're gonna view this. See, right here, standing by itself. And I could use all the other plugins and tools to change the priority and things like that. But for this example, we've now shown you from start to finish how to avoid all those pitfalls. And now I've got a site-wide forum, I've got group forums indexed in the site-wide forum, and I have the ability for members to participate in a group and a group forum. And when they do so, all of it is nicely playing with each other. Now remember earlier, a couple minutes ago, I said, oh, there's a fallback position. What if you're one of those people that is just struggling with this instead of just going ahead and grabbing a quick theme here and being in happy land? Well, the fallback is you could follow some tips I've got at labzip.com or at the BB Press forum on how to fix your child theme or theme template. Or you could use the fallback, which is actually powerful for another reason. And the fallback is to use short codes and the default uh, BB Press forums index. So let's start with short codes. If you go to bbpress.org, you will be ultimately led to a place where you can find the short codes. So if I was to go over here, I could go and for example, actually let me just go to bbpress.org. And the actual URL I'll give you here is under the documentation. It's the codex home for short codes. And you'll notice there's a couple cool little short codes. If you don't know what a short code is, it's just a plain text um, reference that can be placed into a page or a post which will generate the necessary code to display something. And in this case, we want the one that will display our entire forum index. All right, so I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna go back over to my site. And in fact, this is where it gets kind of nasty. I have to actually go ahead and deprecate this page if I wanna use it or change it because I cannot use the same slug to use the shortcode method as the default method. But you know what I can do? I can get clever if I wanted to, and I can create something secondary. For example, what if I wanted to just make a new name? Okay, so let's do it like this. Let's call this short code forums. And there, boy, therefore, I am not using the default slug. That's the key here. When you use the short codes, you have to use something different than the default slug when you set up the forums. Okay, so I'm going to use short code forums on the same page. I'm going to update it. And now I'm going to paste in HTML or visual editor, doesn't matter. I'm going to paste that short code. Now this is just going to give me the forum index on this page. Okay, I'm going to update it. I'm going to go back to my site and I'm going to have to maybe reload. Now I've got this new tab. And when I click on it, we should see the forum index. Voila. I want you to notice a couple things. When I did it in the original method, the cool method, it was taking advantage of all the styling that was built into the child theme so that the, the theme of how BB Press was displayed was coming from the parent. Here it kind of works the same way, although I can see there's a couple things that maybe need a little adjustment, which is okay, but you might have to override. For example, the font family is clearly a little tiny bit different. No big deal. You can always go ahead and override the CSS with Firebug and right-clicking and inspecting the element and the attributes. But that's for another tutorial or watch one of our videos over at labzip.com videos. But the cool thing is, is this now gives you the ability to build a custom page. So for example, if I go back over to the short codes, whoops, let's go ahead and put a topic index in there. Maybe that'll be useful because this is gonna show me not only the forums, but the current topics. So I go back to my page and now I'm gonna Put it below and let's you know let's jazz this up a little bit i'm going to go ahead and actually put in heading tags so i'm going to say h3 forum index you could do this with the visual editor too h3 topics index let's check that out we're going to save that with update now i'm going to go back over to my page i'm going to reload let's see what that looks like Hey, cool. Now I've got the forum index and I've got the topic index. I can even throw in a, I don't know, a tag cloud. Oops, keep going the wrong one. There we go. Let's go grab the tag cloud. 
And this is the BB topic tags. Edit our page again. Do again H3 tag cloud. Put in that short code. Save it with an update. And now let's refresh it again. And I think we're going to have a really powerful custom page here. Hey, check it out. There's that one tag I used, happiness, which will take me to the appropriate topic. See how that works? Now, I'm going to step this up a notch. What if I'm building a page and I want this to be my home page? Because, you know, this really tells everybody what they need to know when they visit my site. Well, all you need to do is go in your theme and change this page to be the default landing page. So we go to settings, reading, and instead of the blog, we're going to use a static page. And which one? Of course, we're going to use the shortcode forums page that I just created. Now, this means that when I go back to my site and I hit home, what's going to appear? Of course, the new forum. Now, one of the things that happened here, just because I'm throwing it out, I noticed again, because I'm doing shortcode method, I may have to tweak the background a little bit because by default, the home page on this is normally set so that it doesn't have a white background. But that's okay. That's easy to do and a very little consequence in comparison to the benefits you get by being able to do something this custom. You know, it really, really takes it to another level. And if I ever want, I can always revert it back. And that will leave me with what I had before, which is the ability to refresh. And then I'll see the page will show up by itself. And I can go to that. And the formatting will be just as it was when it was on a regular page. Okay. Hopefully you're with me so far and you're really excited to jump in your own stuff. But I need to show you one more thing, or a couple more maybe. First of all, there's some tools in place. With BBPress 2.2.2, the tools are over here under Tools. Yes, of course, Forums. Now, there are many tools here, but there's really two categories. First of all, Importing Tools, which lets you bring in any legacy stuff from Envision or vBulletin, PHP, BB, or BBPress version 1.0. I'm not going to demonstrate this for you, but if you want to try it out, just follow the directions, set up your database, and you should be fine. Number two tool, uh, or category tool, is repair forums. Now, these are really useful for some of the little quirks that happen during transition, many of which are recalculating the total topic uh, count, forum count, etc. Many of them are with regard to the replies or spams. But the most important one I'm going to show you now is having to do with remapping existing users to default forum roles. Remember I indicated that one of the new updates is that they have bifurcated off the roles and capabilities for BBPress. Now you've got these five unique ones, which are different from the standard WordPress. And I also indicated that the incredibly popular members plugin from Justin Tadlock, one that we use all the time, has now been updated to make this easy as well. So I have actually installed this. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks about the roles and the bifurcation of the roles and how this extra tool come together. All right. So let's start with the idea. When you install the plugin members, if you need to do this kind of stuff, you'll go and uh, use the regular plugin installer. Install now. This is a lot of other cool stuff for membership and things, but you'll see that when we're using WooCommerce in another video. Right now, the best part about it is the role editor. So once it's installed, make sure that it's active and reload the page because we're going to go over to the Users tab. And the Users tab is going to now show, yes, roles. Let's check it out. Now here's the default roles from WordPress. You'll notice that we don't have any of those BBPress roles over here. That's one of the updates to the plugin by uh, Justin the other day. This means that if I have a situation where I have a new person come to my WordPress site, and by default, you know, that makes them a subscriber, that by default, WordPress isn't going to be worrying about setting their access capabilities or you know, other capabilities at BBPress. It's only going to worry about WordPress. But you're asking me probably, what if I've got custom roles set up? Like, what if I'm using a membership plugin such as S2 Member or Paid Membership Pro or anything else that might use the roles capability to handle that? I want to be able to make sure that if somebody's paying me money that they can get into my BBPress forum, but if they don't pay me money, they can't. Well, guess what? It's really easy to do that. Once you've set up the members plugin and you go into the role manager, I can go ahead or you can go ahead and add any of those capabilities 
directly to override or supplement what is done by the BBPress plugin. Ready? Okay, so let's create a use case that I've got a new member. Right, and make it easier. I'm going to call them a customer because that's what happens when you're using WooCommerce. Somebody who buys something is a customer. And this is how we do it at the lab. So customer is the role. Uh, customer is the role. And I can use the nice title here with the big C. We scroll down. When you're talking about these capabilities for BBPress, they're just like you saw before. So the ones that are interesting to us are spectate which would mean if I added this, somebody could by default, when they're a customer, be able to just look at forums. Or remember there was participate, which means that they could look at or post to by default if they become a customer. And then there's other ones which sort of don't make as much sense. But for example, you might want to make somebody a moderator or have the actual capability to do certain things. For example, uh, specifically like to be able to manage comments or publish forums. But for the most part, I would say stick with spectate or participate, and that will give a person access or be able to take it away. All right. So in this case, let's say when somebody joins my site and pays me for a subscription, I'm going to give them the role of a customer. And when they do, they're automatically going to get spectate. Okay. I add that role Go ahead and join register and I'm gonna call this new user new user at let's say labseekers.com make a new user we'll sign up now if this works right as I knew it will this particular profile will be created and it should have the role of customer and it should have the BB press capability of participant or participate okay so now what I've done is I've logged back in as the admin because I'm gonna go look at that new user that was created so I go under users all users and let's take a look at what we've got and there you go now what we've got here is a situation where we've got a new user and the name and everything's the same they've got the role of customer now this is what's interesting the forum role is not set under tools forums Let's say we had a situation where we had a legacy role and it had the people maybe were paying for access to get to your forums and it's just not cooperating. Well, this is one way to fix it. We can remap the existing users to the default forum roles. When we do this, it's going to fix that in our user table. So let's try it. We click on repair items and we go back and if I'm right, what's going to show now is that this person should have the ability to participate. And there it is. So now we see that the forum role has been adjusted to participant. If you have any questions at all, feel free to visit me over at labzip.com in our support forums. So support forums, we love to hear from you. And oh, by the way, guess what we use for our support forums? Well, of course, we use BBPress. Why else? We got to use all the same tools that we're teaching you how to use. I'm Spence, the evil genius. We'll see you next time.